So this is review number two. This is roller coaster. Uh, I didn't know what it was. I'd forgotten what it was uh, at the Roxy. It was a juggling show for an hour. Uh, not an easy challenge for the audience potentially or for the um, purveyor of the juggling, but he did a good job. I can't remember his name. He was uh, doing a um, very colourful show. I think probably more aimed at kids. Uh, a lot of stuff I hadn't sort of seen before. He'd obviously uh, well drilled it. He was a likeable performer. It was pretty original. Uh, he had a lot of AI, what sounded like music generated by AI. I, I guess it's not everybody can afford Jean-Michel Jarre to um, have the music behind them for, but that music lacked some tension, which really helps with juggling. So uh, I thought the AI, uh, well, I don't know if it was AI, it just sounded like it was to me. Um, and also the, uh, the talking bits was also done by uh, uh, imported speech, I think, so um, maybe that's the way of things, but I think snazzier music would have uh, increased the jeopardy. Uh, but very interesting, very colourful, kids loved it, the audience were really on board with it, he came over very well, there were even gasps, kept it going for an hour, not easy of juggling, uh, with juggling. Um, and it was a nice venue with a good sized audience for, considering the fringe doesn't officially start till tomorrow. Um, fringe tip, enter late and then you can see it from higher up. Uh, row 7 in that venue is still on, only on eye level with the performer. And you might want to see it from a distance away rather than on the front row. Uh, and they'll always try and stuff you in the front seats. Uh, but good show, uh, roller coaster at the Roxy, juggling. Colourful for kids and adults maybe.